Good afternoon, Ryan G144 here, and today I'm here to read an excerpt of a masterpiece of RPG writing. This is a game that was shared with me at the UK Games Expo in 2021. I was approached by a man who spoke to me about this game, and he described it about the spirits and ghosts of mushrooms, and now I am here to share it on YouTube for the first time. It is called Polter Fungeist. This is something that you can actually buy. It's available online for a dollar, and I will be linking this, you know, the website that this is on in the description. And now, on to the reading. Here it is Polter Fungeist. This is the game, and I am going to be reading it on YouTube for the first time. So, you were once a beautiful mushroom. But you've been harvested, diced, finely chopped, fried, roasted, but you're still here, in this kitchen. Your body has been taken from you, but you still have agency, and you're not leaving until you've enacted your vengeance. This is the main premise of the game. You start in the kitchen. This is the room in which you were brought. You were harvested days before, but had life left, still a chance to grow. The chef brought you here, kept you refrigerated, then chopped you up, cooked you, and ate your flesh. You remember the cold seeping into your mycelium as if they were trying to keep you, preserve you. Eventually, the chef took you from the fridge and brushed off the crumbs of peat moss and vermiculite sustaining you. They placed you on a plastic board, chopped off your stalk and threw it away, took your cap in their hands and began slicing with a razor-sharp knife. Horror, agony, death, but you came back. You are now a ghost. You were a mushroom once, growing happily with your kin in a substrate perfectly designed to fulfil your nutritional needs. You thrived, growing thick and strong, connecting with your fellows via a mycelial network through which you could communicate. It was dark and damp, just as you desired. There was peat moss. There were bark chips. There were vermiculite. Then you were cut. So you can be different varieties of mushrooms. Button, chestnut, enoki, oyster, portobello, shiitake. And you have different abilities such as flight, invisibility and ethereal. These are the things that you can use in this game. While you were growing, your fungal life was wonderful, filled with joy. You felt nothing could hold you back. When the knife came and cut you from your substrate, it took days to recover from the shock. You felt listless and lost. Now you're back. Some semblance of the life you had has returned to you. You desire nothing more than vengeance upon the chef. You have one unique ability and four generic abilities. So there's different abilities in this game, such as fermentation, gusts, hallucinations, mould, poisonous, and zombification. Then you have the chef. The psychopathic killer who butchered you shows no remorse. The consumption of your body nourished them. They devour mushrooms daily as if it is nothing. They use dried porcini to make stock. They fry king oysters like steak. They dice button mushrooms to make duxelles. They often spend time in the kitchen, clattering pots and pans, exalting as their culinary creations come to life in the pan, summoning the gods of seasoning and flavour, calling forth the great umami. They are resilient, but naive. They think, I must have left the hob on, or I must have put the spatula away. They don't realise these small actions culminate into larger, far more sinister recipes that will result in their demise. So aside from this, there are different things in this game, such as being able to see the conditions of the kitchen, the level of the kitchen, and the features of the kitchen. Also, being able to show the chef's skills, the chef's personality, and the chef's willpower. All these things go together and make the game what is a masterpiece. There are also... These things are shown in the form of a table. The table shows how many successes you must achieve before you carry out the final lethal act resulting in the chef's demise. 
gain that many successes before your dice pool empties and you murder the chef, fail and your spirit drifts into the mushroom afterlife. So this is the game. This is Polterfungeist. This is it. It can be bought online. I'm going to be sharing the link to the website in the description. It was shared with me at the UK Games Expo in 2021. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this masterpiece. Thank you for listening and I look forward to making more content.